Hey everyone, so this video will be a review of iTech 2019 conference in Iowa, Iowa City. And um, overall it was a fantastic experience, the uh, event was organized very well, um, some fantastic players, uh, great interesting recitals, the conference was pretty large, over 700 people in attendance, and um, I tried to get as much uh, footage uh, as possible, silly mistake, but I left uh, my chargers uh, from the cameras and laptop home, so I only had full battery on each to record, so I had to pick and choose which events I'm going to be recording so um, I don't have the footage from every single event um, but I still have some highlights of us performing and some expo so this is going to be a two-part uh, uh, video the first part we're gonna sum up uh, the iTech uh, conference overall and I'm gonna share some highlights from uh, our performance where me James and Brute performed um, five pieces uh, on Saturday's recital and the second part is gonna be um, uh, some uh, footage from the expo which I'm sure a lot of you will love uh, just because uh, many of you uh, enjoy um, seeing me test different instruments and mouthpieces. So before we get into that I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the patrons for supporting the channel. If you like to donate uh, as little as three dollars a month um, go check it out and you'll get awesome perks like exercises and uh, some of uh, my audio track downloads. So um, go check it out uh, or you can always uh, do me a huge favor by liking uh, this video sharing it with your friends leaving a comment down below and of course subscribing and hitting that notification uh, bell down below so as I've mentioned I kind of had to leave uh, very quickly from Pittsburgh just because um, I had some commitments with River City Brass so I had to skip out on the first couple of days of iTech so um, we arrived initially on the 13th of May which was uh, I believe Thursday and um, the whole goal was to arrive early enough so we could squeeze in a quick rehearsal with uh, me James and Birute and uh, we wanted to make it to the banquet which um, had all the winners announced uh, for the ITA competition as well as uh, some of the awards giving to um, some of the well-deserved uh, performers. Euphonium players uh, coming from Asia absolutely dominated all the euphonium sections so winning vast majority of prizes and it was very nice to see some of the female uh, winners as well it's always nice to see some diversity uh, coming to our low brass community so congratulations to all the winners the 31st which was friday um we had to spend quite a lot of time rehearsing um just because that was the first uh, big rehearsal we had uh, for our recital which was coming up a uh, day later but um, here's some footage for the from the rehearsal <laughs> Thank you. 
The following day, which was Saturday, 1st of June, we had an early morning recital, which um, the slot was, I believe, 10, 15 a.m. Overall, I thought the recital went uh, pretty well. The hall was a little boomy, so some of the technical uh, stuff uh, was tricky uh, to hear. Uh, in terms of a balance and clarity, but uh, I'm gonna share some of the highlights uh, with you just in a minute. I, I've already started uploading um, some of the full uh, versions of the pieces. I already uploaded Waters Wide, which is uh, available for you to check out uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, we started the recital with The Force of Destiny by Giuseppe Verdi, and um, that was a uh, cool trio uh, written for, well, arranged for two biphonium and piano. piece was um, kind of a premiere. It was uh, a piece called Wanderlust written by a Pennsylvanian composer Todd Goodman. So it was originally written for horn and um, and uh, two band piano, but uh, the arrangement we played uh, was for euphonium, tuba and piano, which was the first time this arrangement was played. So again, very nice piece. Uh, a lot of um, rhythmical elements to it. Uh, piano plays a very important role in it and um, it has a gorgeous middle section uh, where um, all three instruments uh, just blend fantastic. So again, uh, an awesome new piece which uh, I encourage all of you to check out. It's called Wanderlust by Todd Goodman. <laughs> Thank you. 
we followed up by a gorgeous trio called Waters Wide, which I have already uploaded a full performance uh, to that piece. So it's just uh, one of those super beautiful um, duets uh, which uh, exposes the sound uh, and blend for the E flat 2 by euphonium and piano. So. performed was one of my pieces uh, which uh, has been already uploaded uh, to my youtube channel again uh, it's called youth uh, it was originally written for a solo euphonium and a second euphonium so two euphoniums one of them playing solo part but i kind of made arrangement for um, euphonium and tuba so i thought it was uh, pretty cool uh, especially playing with um, such a capable and uh, awesome player um, such as James Gourlay, the venue really did not help because um, even though we had uh, speakers uh, uh, and the monitor coming towards us, it was extremely hard to hear um, uh, anything that was happening in the backing track just because the venue was so boomy. But uh, here's some footage from um, the world premiere of the tuba euphonium version of Euphemol.
and we finished off with a little anchor piece, which was uh, Monty's uh, Chardash, which uh, was played as a solo piece by James Gourlay and accompanied by me and Birute on a piano. Uh, so this is a little fun piece that we do um, uh, play whenever we do a uh, little trio concerts. And obviously James did a fantastic job and uh, we do this little shtick, uh, which is always fun to watch and uh, it's super entertaining. <laughs> This is going to be the summary for the first part and uh, I'm going to see you in the part two which we're going to look at the expo and some of the instruments I've tried as well as mouthpieces and uh, other cool gadgets I've tried. Thank you. 